Hello everyone, this is Craig Chamberlain with the PC Mission at Tech Help Show. How are you guys doing tonight? Um, today's video I'm going to show you how to build a website using the WordPress software suite. Now WordPress is completely free, building a website is completely free, hosting that website on the internet is really not free, but uh, the good news is you can completely build your website from scratch on your own computer before you even decide to put it live on the internet. And usually hosting is pretty reasonable, so you don't have to worry about that. Now, in the previous video, uh, we talked about how to turn a computer into a web server to build websites. This video is a prerequisite for, um, for watching the video I'm about to do right here. Uh, and you can find that at my YouTube channel or at my website. Uh, and this will show you how to set up your computer for building the website. So make sure you guys check that one out. I'll put a link in the video, uh, this video description below as well, so that will help you find it. So first thing we're going to want to do is in the previous video we installed a web server software known as XAMPP and this will let us install and run and build a website on our own computers. So what you need to do is on your desktop open up the XAMPP control panel and since these are not installed as services, which means that they start on boot up, we want to start them manually again because I've rebooted my computer since then. So I'm just going to select start for Apache, which is our web server and start for MySQL, which is our database. So now once both of them are running, we are ready to start building our website. So let's bring up our browser again, and like we did in the previous video, we're gonna go to http colon slash slash localhost and press enter. Now for WordPress, it requires that we create a database for our website. Now a database is basically a file structure system. It sounds complicated, but it's really not that runs in the background of your website. They call it a website back end, which is typically in the olden days was a completely independently developed part of the website. But WordPress has done a wonderful job of automating this for us so that we never actually have to get the headaches of creating our own back end. So we're gonna go down to the tool section here. We wanna open up PHP My Admin. PHP My Admin allows us to modify uh, our MySQL server, and MySQL is a database server. Uh, it's free, it's open source, and it's free for commercial use, so it'll let us build our database. So at the top here, select the Databases tab so that we can actually get started here, and you'll notice you're greeted with this nice Create New Database. Now, the website that I'm going to be building is for my wife. She uh, has her own art studio and works with her own artwork. And again, when I'm doing this whole series with you, we're going to start at the very basic with this one. Uh, this is going to be a basic shell website, but my database is going to reflect that. I'm going to say WP, which means WordPress. It's just a common annotation. I'm going to type in artistic underscore creations. And then on the right-hand side, I'm going to go ahead and select create. Now on the left-hand side here, you will see down here in the left-hand corner, WP artistic creations. I can select it and it's completely empty, which is fine. We're gonna use this database when we install uh, WordPress. Now that we have the name of the database created and it is officially created, let's go back to the PC Michiana Tech Help Show website. That's at pcmichiana.com, P-C-M-I-C-H-I-A-N-A.com. Michiana is where I live. Basically, it's in Notre Dame, it's Northern Indiana. Select the free download section. I have tons of free downloads here, I've got them collected them over the years as an IT geek. I know I say that in every video, but you guys really should check them out if you haven't yet. Scroll down to the doo -doo 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 -doo, web design tools, and you want to select the WordPress blog software. Select the download link, and then you're greeted with the actual official link to the download. This will lead you to WordPress.org's primary website, and if you wanted to, you can go straight to WordPress.org as well. And it says, ready to get started, download WordPress 3.2.1. Your version right now, as we discussed, this might be a little later than that, and that's fine. The installation steps should be the same. So go ahead and select it to download it. On the right-hand side, go ahead and select download WordPress 3.2.1 again, and I'm gonna go ahead and save it to my desktop. And the download is going to begin and it is already completed. So that was pretty quick. Now let me go ahead and minimize this back to our desktop and here is our download. And as we discussed in the previous video, we have to go to our web server's root folder. See, there's a reason I told you guys all this in the last video. So I'm gonna open up my computer, I'm gonna to go to the C drive and we install it to C colon slash XAMPP. And under XAMPP, you wanna to scroll to the HT docs folder, okay? 
Now we're going to right click and create a new folder. And since my website is called Artistic Creations, I'm gonna call this folder Artistic Creations. One word, remember, always remember that, one word. Go ahead and open up that folder and then open up your WordPress installation. Oh, go ahead and close that. And we are going to extract, I'm using WinRAR for this. WinRAR is a free um, file extraction utility. You can get that from my website as well. I'm gonna open up this WordPress folder and this is the complete installation here of the WordPress folder. So let me go ahead and I'm going to hold shift and press down or hold down until it highlights everything. And let me drag this over to the artistic creations folder. And it's going to copy all those files for the installation over there so that we can actually get our WordPress installation started. Now we haven't officially installed it, installed it yet. Basically what we've done is we've drugged the installation into our root folder of our web server. Now, if none of that makes sense to you, remember that previous video on building a web server was a prerequisite for this video. Make sure you watch that. Okay, now let's go back to our browser. Go to our, uh, well, let's go to this localhost. We don't really need this anymore. Well, let's create a new tab, just in case we need to reference it later. Let's type in HTTP colon slash slash localhost. Remember, then we get to type in our new folder we created, artistic creations, in my case, slash and then press enter. And here you have the installation beginning. Now it says before you actually install your, op your WordPress software, you have to create a configuration file. So go ahead and create it and boom, there you go. Now we're gonna walk through the actual setup of our installation. So let's go. The database name, since we created our database, let me go back here. It is WP Artistic Creations. So let's do WP underscore artistic underscore creations for username the default root username for um, your WordPress software is always root for your XAMPP server I'm sorry your XAMPP MySQL and the default password is always blank database host as you know is localhost notice make note that that matches our localhost up here remember it's looking on your local computer for the database which is true because we have our own database server on here and we'll leave the table prefix the default. Go ahead and click Submit, and it says, all right, you've made it through this part of the installation. What that did is that checked to make sure that your, your database existed and that you could log in. So now let's actually install WordPress, so run the install. Now it's gonna ask me for the basic website information. The site title is Artistic Creations. I recommend you come up with a unique username. You don't wanna uh, leave the default admin for security purposes. So we'll say, it's my wife's name, we'll just go Sarah, well, you can do capital letters, we'll do Sarah Chamberlain. Password, go ahead and enter what you think is a strong password. In many cases, it's not a strong password. And your own email address. I'm gonna go ahead and enter my personal one because I don't want you guys to know to my, my wife, so that might be a little weird. And we want our site to appear in search engines like Google and Technorati, that is good. Click install WordPress and let it do its thing. And there you go, success, it has been installed. Sure, let's save our password. Google Chrome gave us that option and we'll go log in. See, here's our username and password. Our mine was Sarah Chamberlain and my password. Sure, remember me, log in. And you just created a website using WordPress. Now this is your website back end. Let me see how much time I have here. I've only got a minute left. This is your website back end. So before we go into greater detail, this is how you actually build a website using, um, uh, using WordPress. So let's go to Artistic Creations. And as you can see, this is a default theme. Now we're gonna actually go into more detail on this in the next video. I kinda got you know overrun here with time. Uh, but this will actually, this is the default theme. Now we can add more pages through the dashboard here. And um, uh, more pages will show up on our bar. Uh, on, our, on our navigation bar here at the bottom. And if we create uh, posts in the left-hand side, that'll create new updated pages on a daily basis. And there's a whole lot of things we can do here. And again, we'll go into more detail on that not next. But this is how you create a website using WordPress. You have officially created it. You can access it now anytime by just going to localhost up at the top, http colon slash localhost slash artistic creations and press enter. And there you go. There's your website. It's officially built. We haven't done anything with it yet, but you have officially, you're a web designer. You are a web developer. 
Doesn't it feel good? 